So the team at Gyojo have sent us this thermal imaging camera. This actually plugs into the bottom of your mobile phone and via that app, it gives you all of the features of a standard handheld thermal imaging camera through your device. Let's get this open and have a look inside. Nice little metal case that it comes in. Obviously you want something protective with this given that it's got a lens built in. USB type C but inside here we've actually got the adapter for the iPhone lightning port which you would just plug in like so. So the app is called THG Start so we'll get that from the Google Play Store but also available on Apple and there's all the specs if you wish to see that but basically you've got a 192 by 192 resolution it'll do minus 20 up to 400 degrees Celsius or minus 10 to minus 50 and in Fahrenheit that's about minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 752. So here's our app we're going to head to install okay and here is our app here so fully installed we're going to click on the app or hit start now and the first thing we need to do is actually hook up to a device so it's giving us a few options through the app whether we've got a handheld equipment whether we want to search for the device via bluetooth or via qr code in our case we need to insert the module into the bottom so we don't actually want the camera facing us because we will be recording and we want to see so i'm pretty sure it'll go into phone this way allow access to camera agree it's going to auto calibrate and there we go do have to uh, get used to how i hold this because normally you'd hold your phone down here and you can see my hand is in the way wonder if we can actually pop this onto auto rotate so when we flip this around there we go the app will flip around so we can have the camera at the top so basically you're holding the phone upside down but this way you can have the camera at the top of the device and hold the phone a bit more naturally let's have a look through here we've got measurements palettes images and parameters so we'll go into measurements we can change that to center so now we've got the center temperature which is at 21 point about 21 degrees but you can see it's also pulling the maximum temperature within the field of view is 23.45 keeps changing so we can look at the coldest area of the room so that'll add another point in for us that's telling us the coldest area is around 19 degrees. Now if you want a custom point, you can choose point and you can select a certain point on the screen. So we can see over here it's 21.7, down here it's 22 degrees. We can draw a line and it'll give us the minimum and maximum temperature along that line, but also what the average temperature is along that line. Got a whole heap more options like rectangle. So we can actually draw a rectangle in a certain area and that's gonna do the same thing. So the minimum maximum temperature within that blocked area that we just selected and the average. Hit clear, we're gonna get rid of all of those. So I love the measurement system in here. Now let's go into palette. So at the moment we're on iron bow, but we've also got sepia, purple and red, low iron, iceberg, rain, red hot, green hot, and dark blue. This is sort of the you know predator sort of look that you see from you know the thermal imaging. But I move up to my ceiling and you can see the little, the panels of the roof. As I move across, you can see some of those panels are a bit hotter than others. And that might be a good indication for me that potentially I'm missing some insulation there or the insulation isn't working as effectively as it could. So that's something for me to check. And that's the versatile use of something like this. You might be working on a car and you need to see if something's overheating. You might be working on a computer and you need to see if a particular part is actually getting heat to it. There's warming up a uh, myriad of different uses from electricians plumbers mechanics or just general home maintenance so love all of the palettes that come through in image you can adjust the brightness contrast sharpness and in parameters you can adjust things like distance temperature ranges temperature alarms and you know if you're working in fahrenheit or kelvin you can even change between fahrenheit and kelvin in here really easily you can set temperature ranges but a really cool piece of kit so here's some stored images where you can see someone's using it for say a building inspection you can see the center temperature the maximum minimum and the average it gives you a date time stamp so you can take a picture and hit share and send that off to a colleague through one of your sharing apps to then you know, discuss what your findings are so love the fact that you've got the gallery there you've also got here in the middle to take a photo 
Okay, we can see that now lands into the gallery section and you can see on the right here, we've also got the video function. As soon as it does that, you'll see a timer at the top. We hit record and we're actually doing a recording of what we're looking at. So really good for sharing with colleagues. You can see that all heads down to the gallery and there's our video that we were looking at. And then obviously whatever measurements you've got set up will depend, determine what gets recorded on the screen. So up top here, we've got a super IR on or off. We've got this one here, which is going to use both cameras. So that's kind of a cool view. So you can actually choose the camera in the back of your phone and this sort of puts the camera like a picture in picture. So people see live view, but then also what's happening from a temperature point of view. So you can turn that on or off. So these two are kind of linked. You can have auto calibration on or off, or you can just do a calibration each time you hit this button here. And the last button over to the side will just rotate your image. So you can see each time I press that it's going to rotate the image 90 degrees until you get back to where you were. You've got sort of an in-screen option or a larger zoomed in option between these ones here and then you can turn the bar on or off on the side here as to the temperature gauge with what it's picking up as the lowest, the highest temperature and you know, the sort of average of that spectrum. So anything yellow is kind of mid-range temperature, anything dark blue is the lowest and that red to white being the highest. But you can see that's calibrating by itself because we've got auto calibration turned on. So when you're done, you can just unplug, pack it away in your case and you're ready to go. So Beats carrying one of those big handheld thermal imaging devices. You can give this to anybody, they can plug it in to their phone, tablet, providing it's got USB-C or lightning port, and you can download the app. So a really convenient way to get some thermal imaging done out on the road that can be used with multiple different devices. So if you're after a mobile thermal imaging camera, I think this one from Gojo is definitely worth checking out.